Um, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about what is accreditation and recognition, but I'm also going to try and connect a few dots for you. And those, those that are involved in the construction industry will appreciate that. And, and the principle that, um, you know, I have people that write speeches for me, and I never follow them, so bear with me. Um, one of the principles that we're working on is the, the old adage that says, tides raise all boats. So if we can start encouraging systems to start getting engaged and moving everybody up within their, um, their sectors, in their industries, it's going to really help us move where we want to go a lot quicker. And um, you know, a good example of that is those that are involved in construction. And about 10 years ago, uh, well, it was 10 years ago, the, um, one of the things that the Tony Dean report, and Tony Dean was uh, commissioned a, a study into health and safety after the Metron incident on Christmas Eve in 2009, where the swing stage collapsed and there was four fatalities. Uh, coincidentally enough, the inquest into that um, situation is going to be held in the first couple of weeks of November, so 10 years from the time of the event. Um, so uh, what happened, they, uh, Tony Dean recommended that we should incentivize people that recognize and value and have implemented um, a health and safety management system. So while government was doing the to and fro and examining it and transferring responsibilities from an agency to the ministry as in prevention, the construction industry decided to move towards um, uh, certificate, the Certificate of Recognition Program, or the CORE program. And um, I'll talk a bit about CORE and how it relates to everything, but CORE essentially um, started out as a, a, an audit system, but has morphed into a, a health and safety management system. And people that jumped on board started to recognize that if you engage your employees you take serious interest in health and safety, it will make a difference, an economic difference. Your employees will be working more productive. You have less lost time injuries and so on and so forth. Then the buyers of construction started to look at that, and you had some big, big ones like City of Toronto, Metrolinx, Infrastructure Ontario. They started to look at, you know, if I'm putting a bid out, you know, I, I'm obviously conscious of quality and cost and all of the reputation of the people that I want to um, invite to my construction site, they started to add the safety record. They started to look at their supply chain and say, you know, what kind of safety record do you have? And, and do you have? And based on that, it's starting to push health and safety into the supply chain where we start having a whole sector improve. I was at a Ontario General Contractors Award ceremony <clears throat> And, uh, and the, uh, the uh, president of the OGCA, uh, Clive Thurston, put up a graph, and the graph showed where construction is in general in terms of their injury rate, where ICI is, where residential construction is, and then it looked at members of the um, OGCA, of which the majority of them are core um, involved or actually core certified, and well, it's just a small sample size. It showed that their injury rate and their, um, uh, when compared to others, was significantly lower. So it does give an indication. It's, it's as I said, it's not a huge sample size, but it it does give an indication that there is a relationship between um, your investment in health and safety and your performance. 